All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's just said Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. I want to go in this lesson on prison, okay? And um, how. Uh, it is going to try, or the so so called white man is going to try to uh, throw some of us into uh, prison. Okay, and um, this is going to happen in the near future for teaching this word. Okay, and um, I have uh, three or four stories of uh, how the men of the Lord were delivered from uh the uh the prison houses okay and to be honest america is just the big prison in the first place man okay but with that said i'm going to start with isaiah 61 and 1 the spirit of the lord god yahweh is upon me because the lord have appointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek he have sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, Yahweh and the day of vengeance of our power, to comfort all that mourn. And with that said, you know, our, uh, our sentence is almost up, man. Okay? Of of this prison, you know, known as America, these bodies that we're in, okay? Um the Lord is going to uh um get us out of this this hell, man. Okay? But before we we get out of this hell, we're going to have to be tried. Okay? Um we're not really living in this society, okay? And the fact that we're teaching this word, everybody don't want to hear it, you know? So um, there's going to come a time when they're going to um, try to uh, demonize us, okay? But with that said, this is First Peter 5 and 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, is a roaring lion, Walketh about seeking whom he may devour, and the so-called white man is the uh, the devil. That he is our adversary. Okay, you um, you ever uh, see brothers teaching on a uh, corner? Okay, you know uh, the Israelites. You got to know that they they don't like us, man. You know, they 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 definitely have that hatred. In their blood. Heck, two thirds of Israel had that hatred in their blood. Okay? You got people that might be standing next to you who who, who might have hatred in their blood. You know? Uh you have uh you know the story of Judas who uh turned in Yahusha, you know. But um the the, the so called white man, the devil you know, they ride by the camp and you know that that they know who we are, you know, and and they don't like that. So any any moment, you know, they they at you know they they'd be more than willing to, 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 to throw us into the jail, throw away the key, falsify a report. You know, that's the type of stuff that these devils do. So we have to be sober and be vigilant, okay? The word vigilant, is, it means uh, to watch, give strict attention to, be cautious, active, take heed lest through rem remission and, and indolence some destructive calamity suddenly overtake one. Okay, so we have to be, we have to be vigilant when we out there doing this work. Okay, and watch uh, our surroundings. Okay. Um, Matthew 10 and 22, and you shall be hated 
of all men for my name's sake, but he that endures to the end shall be saved. Okay? And this is a part of being tried because, you know, just the fact that, you know, we go out and we teach the word, you know, we're not out there to, uh, to, um, defraud or wrong anybody. We just out there teaching what the scriptures say. Okay. And people hate that, you know, the heck they hate you just, just off the fact of your skin color or the way that you look, you know, because people aren't spiritual. Okay. Um, this is revel, I mean, Luke 21 and nine. But when you so hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Then say he unto them, nations shall rise against nation, these race wars, and, and kingdom against kingdom, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines and pestilences. And fearful sights and great signs shall there be from, from heaven. But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, be, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. Okay? So, there, you know, it's going to be a time when these people might try to uh, fight us. Okay? They already trying to persecute us, but it's going to be a time when they, they start casting brothers into prison. Okay? Um, this is uh, Revelation 2 and 10. Fear none of these things which you shall suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. And it shows you that, that Satan and, and the devil is two totally different places, man. I mean, two, two totally different people. You know, entities. Okay? The devil is the so-called white man. How can Satan cast you into prison, man? No, the devil, so-called white man, is going to uh throw, throw some of us into prison, man. It says that you may be tried and you shall have tribulation ten days. Which 10 is just a number. Okay. It could be 5 days. It could be longer than that. It says be thou faithful unto death. And I will give you a crown of life. Because when they do. When, when, when this time comes. And they come up against the men of the Lord. You know some of us may, may, may have to be beheaded. Okay. Some of us. We might have to lose our lives man. For this for this truth man. For y'all by some y'all shot. And um, what life do we? What life do we really have? You know, we don't really have anything over here. So it, it's going to be a time when the so-called white man uh, start rolling down on us. This is Ecclesiastes. I mean, uh, Psalm one sixteen and fifteen. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of His saints. Okay. So it's going to be a time when some some brothers, okay, the elect is going to have to, you know, be cast into prison. And some of us may may have to die for this truth, okay? And and as the scriptures say, uh, 1 Thessalonians 4 and uh, 16, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. With the voice of the archangel, with the trump of Yahweh, and the dead in Yahweh's side shall rise first. So the ones that die for this truth, you know, that may be cast into prison, you know, they're they're going to be um, the ones who who are first resurrected. Okay. It says, "Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them." And the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Okay? And, and when you come into this truth, man, you know that one way or another, these bodies ain't gonna, gonna make it. You know? Yeah, fuck the RFID chip. You know, we gotta continue to pray. You know? And, and, and hope that we can get the hell up out of this this bullshit ass society, man. 
okay, and 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 be able to serve the Lord, um, forever, man. You know, in righteousness and in peace. You know, um, Genesis thirty nine and seven to going on um on the uh, the stories, okay. It says, and it came to pass after these things that his master's wife, which is talking about Joseph, cast her eyes upon Joseph and said, lie with me. But he refused and said unto his master's wife, behold, my, my master wadeth not what is with me in the house, and he hath committed all that he hath to my hand. There is none greater in, his, in this house than I, neither he, I mean, neither hath he kept any, I mean, kept back anything from me but you because you are his wife how then can i do this great wickedness and sin against yahweh and it came to pass as she spake to joseph day by day that he hearkened not unto her to lie with by her or to be with her and it came to pass about that time that joseph went into the house to do his business and there was none of the men of the house there within and she caught him by his garment saying lie with me and he left his garment in her hand and fled and got him out and it came to pass when he saw that he had left his garment in her hand and fled forth that she called unto the men of her house and spake unto them saying see he hath brought in a Hebrew unto us to mock us he came in unto me to lie with me, and I cried with a loud voice. And it came to pass, when he heard that I lifted up my voice and cried, that he left his garment with me and fled and got out. And she laid up his garment by her until the Lord came home. I mean, until his Lord came home. Okay, and, 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 you know, it might be a woman, man, you know, that might, might, um, you know, uh, you know, she might have a man, and she might uh, want you to lay with her and stuff like that. It might that might be one of the ways a brother might get caught up, you know, in in a jail or something? Okay, it says, and she spake unto him according to these words, saying, "The Hebrew servant which thou hast brought unto us came in unto me to mock me, and it came to pass as I lifted up my voice and cried that he left." his garment with me and fled out and it came to pass when his master heard the words of his wife she spake unto him saying after this manner did your servant to me that his wrath was kindled and joseph's master took him and put him into prison into the prison a place where the king's prisoners were bound and he was there in prison but the lord was with joseph and sold him mercy and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. And the keeper of the prison committed to Joseph's hand all the prisoners that were in the prison. And whatsoever they did there, he was, a, he was the doer of it. The keeper of the prison looked not to anything that was under his hand, because the Lord was with him. And that which he did, the Lord made to prosper. So you might get locked up, you know, in... in, in um, a brother, or, or a, a, not a brother, or it could be a brother, you know, but um, you could get locked up, and um, the keeper of the prison, you know, might might show you some favor, you know, the Lord, the Lord is with Joseph in this situation, he sold the mercy, you know, so we don't know what the heck may happen, you know, when, when brothers may get locked up from here until the end. You know, but we know that regardless of whatever, we have to endure until the end, you know, and, and, you know, if we, even if we have to die for this, you know, uh, Acts 5 and 16, there came also a multitude out of the cities round about unto Jerusalem, bringing sick folks and them which were vexed with unclean spirits and they were healed every one. <clears throat> so as time goes on. Okay, is is these prophecies start unfolding? You might have a lot of people that come in at the you know uh, towards the end of it, 
you know and 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 you know that's gonna that's gonna um make Esau even matter even more mad okay um then the high priest rose up and all they that were with him which is the sect of the Sadducees were filled with indignation and laid their hands on the apostles and put them in the common prison. But the angel of the Lord by night opened the prison doors and brought them forth and said, Go stand and speak in the temple to the people all the words of this life. Okay, so you you might have a situation where you might get 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 placed in the prison, these common prisoners, you know, and, and, and the Lord can still send the angel of the Lord, you know, you have faith to, to, to get you out of that situation. Okay? <clears throat> Acts 12 and 1. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church. Okay? Which Donald Trump could uh, start doing that, you know? It says he killed James the brother of John with the sword, and because he saw it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleavened bread. And when he had, when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quatarian, quatarians of soldiers to keep him intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. A person might look at this and see, oh, Easter, you know, which it says uh, the the Pascal sacrifice, which was accustomed to be offered for the deliverance. I mean, for the yeah, for the people's deliverance of old Egypt, the Pascal lamb, the lamb the Israelites were accustomed to slay and eat on the fourteenth day of the month. The Pascal Supper, the Pascal Feast, the Feast of Passover, okay. And and when you look at Easter nowadays, man, that that don't have nothing to do with the Passover, man. Okay, Easter comes from the um the Babylonian word uh is star, okay. But you can look that up, okay. It says Peter therefore was kept in prison. But prayer was made without ceasing of the church, what unto Yahweh by some Yahweh side for him. And when Herod would have brought him forth the same night, was sleeping, I mean, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains, and the keepers before the door kept the prison. <coughs> so Peter was in between two soldiers, okay? And it says the keepers before the door kept the prison. So he was between two soldiers with, with chains, and he had somebody guarding the door. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shined in the prison. And he smote Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. And his chains fell off from his hands. <laughs> it says, um, And the angel said unto him, Gird thyself. And bind on your sandals, and so he did, and said unto him, Cast your garment about you, and follow me. And he went and followed him, and wished not that it was true, which was done by the angel, but thought he saw a vision. When they were past the first and second ward, they came unto the iron gate that leadeth unto the city, which opened to them of his own accord. And they went out and passed on through one street and forthwith the angel departed from him and when peter was come to himself and said now i know of a surety that the lord hath sent his angel and have delivered me out of the hand of herod and from all the expectation of the jews okay so basically the the lord sent the angel to deliver peter through this whole entire situation man okay uh you know, the, the Lord, um, well, Herod um, ended up killing uh, James, okay? And, and you know, it might be a, this might, might be a situation that might happen again to a brother, man. You never know. But one way or another, the Lord is going to be with his men, 
you know, and um, that's pretty much the the the, the basis of this uh the story, you know. Um, I'm gonna get this last scripture, First Peter one and six, wherein you greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, you are in heaviness through manifold temptations, you know. And and one of them temptations is gonna be the RFID chip, you know, trying to denounce your faith, you know. And 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 if you don't, you you uh you'll get killed, okay. Um, it says that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shah, okay. And and that's the point, man. You know. You got to keep on praying and praying and praying that we are counted worthy of escaping these these temptations and the times that are that are soon to come to uh to try us, man. You know that we can endure until the end. We need to pray for more strength, you know, pray for more uh faith, you know. And uh you know, I hope this lesson was, was edifying, you know, but, you know, no matter what, if you have faith in the Lord, the Lord is going to protect you, okay? Even, even on to death, you know, and the, and the rewards that, 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 that is uh, set for brothers, you know, is way more than, than we can e ever imagine, you know? Man, what the hell do we have to live for in this society? Okay, it's bullshit as society, you know. Um, but with that, man, like I said, hopefully this lesson was edifying. You know, I want to uh, say shalom till next time.